and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Very nice. During an intense lightning storm on the night of July 5th, 1947, New Mexico rancher Mac Brazel witnessed an aircraft come down upon his property. Two days later, Information Officer Walter Hout of the Roswell Army Airfield issued a press release stating that their personnel had recovered a flying disc from Mr. Brazel's ranch. And that, dear friends, is the topic of tonight's film. Rubbish. What? There is no such thing as UFOs. Oh, really? Tell me, Livingston, do objects exist? Yes. Do flying objects exist? Yes. Now tell me, are some of these flying objects never identified? Yes. Ha! I've made my case that flying saucers do in fact exist and they come from Mars, manned by aliens with bad intent. Why do I even bother? I have no idea. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. The Doubting Thomas and part-time amateur paranormal skeptic to my right is my typically polite butler, Mr. Livingston. And the tiny woman with the serpentine hairdo who is currently inspecting for the presence of alien implants on the neck of the aforementioned butler is the dainty and delightful Miss Tangella. Tonight's film is a dramatic dramatization of the Roswell incident entitled Invaders from Mars which depicts the real-life crash and recovery of an alien spacecraft from the rugged hills of New Mexico. It is nothing of the kind. It is merely a 1986 remake of the 1953 film of the same name. Please cease from interrupting my commencement with your absurd minutia. Hmm. Tangela says that while she did not find an alien implant in your neck, she did discover a prominent ring around your collar and suggests that you switch over to Whisk brand laundry detergent. In any case, regardless of the plot, the film was directed by Toby Hooper and stars Karen Black, her son Hunter Carson, Timothy Bottoms, Lorraine Newman and Louise Fletcher. We think you'll find this film most entertaining, but not as delightful as our guest, because we'll be joined tonight by legendary screen actor... What do you mean he's dead? Yeesh, what a painful way to go. Glad it didn't happen here. No guest tonight, so it shall be the usual denizens of the household enjoying the film with you this evening. So don't go away, for it shall be another night of Martian invasion fright, Right here on Kirichavijas. And where might you be going? To change my shirt. There was nothing wrong with his shirt, was there? Well played. Stay tuned. It's Saturday night, and you're at Creature Features. What a place to be, right? What a place to be, indeed. It's, it's a wonderful place to be on a Saturday night because, you know, they could be at some, some, some German disco. They would be advised to be elsewhere. Right, right. No, no, they're here with us because we have a wonderful movie tonight, Invaders from Mars, 1986. We've never shown this one before, have we? 
I believe not. No, we definitely have not shown this film because one, it's in color, and two, it, it's called Invaders from Mars, and we've never shown either this version or you said there was a 1953 version. 53, I believe. 53-ish. There was one from the 50s, but we're going to show this one tonight. It's going to be so much fun because it's got, it's got Karen Black. Are you paying attention to me or to her? She's just doing it bubbles. I'm now curious as to what... She's paying my eyes over here, Livingston. So in this film, we've got Karen Black, and here's an interesting bit of trivia. Her son plays the, the, the small child in this film. Oh. Huh. No, it, she does. He doesn't. No, no, no. He does not look anything like her, and I suspect it's not really her child. Why do you say that? Because it does not look like her. They don't always look like their parents. Well, I don't know these things. Your parents were rather good-looking people. You see what he did there? He got me on that one. Anyways, uh, no guest tonight. Our guest apparently has gone on to meet his maker, which. Uh, that was rather diabolical way for you to go. And you said you read this on the Entertainment Weekly website. Hmm. All right. Let's let's make it a point not to invite people that are going to die before they can make their appearance. I, I think a, be, a wise choice. I think it'd be prudent. Right. So it's just us tonight. Uh, we'll bring Andrew up in a bit, uh, as long as she does not uh, accost him too tragically. And uh, it's going to be a fun night. Do you have anything to add, Tangela, besides your stars? She's dressed for the theme tonight. She's, she's dressed as a Martian. This is what a Martian would look like in her world. I was curious about that. What would you think it was? I wasn't sure. No, I, I could see some confusion. She looks a bit like My Little Pony with a with the pink. A What's wrong bit. with looking like My Little Pony? Looks like Mardi Gras. I could have said you look like My Little Pony's manure. And that would have been an insult. No. And she's got the bobble head, the antennae. Do you know real Martians do have those? It's an, it's an accurate portrayal of Have you Martian. seen a real Martian? Of course I have. All right, anyways, let's get this film started when we come back from the break. Uh, Livingston is going to tell us an interesting story about something, right? I haven't the biggest idea. All right, we'll see. Anyways, see you on the other side of the break. Hello YouTube viewers, have you subscribed yet? I see a few of you have forgotten to do so. I am somewhat disappointed. Please subscribe. Thank you. So tell me Livingston, if your child saw a UFO land over the hill. Would you just walk over in your pajamas and investigate? I would not. No, I don't. I, neither would I. I would put on a proper pair of trousers first and some good walking shoes. Indeed. And I would bring a stick and a dog. One of her dogs. I would bring Fang because if there was an alien, Fang would not have none of it. He would have absolutely none, right? How is Fang? Yeah, he, he, I have not seen this pooch in some time. Is he all right? No, oh, all right. Well, you, you need to bring him for the next show because people write and ask about Fang. Fang mm. gets gifts. But he makes too much noise. Well, so do you. And yeah, you kind of look like him too with the little beard thing going on. Oh, he's thank got, you. No, he's got a little beard thing like you. I think he, he's shaving after you it's, it's a form of flattery. You should be flattered that you've been impersonated. Anyways, uh, fun movie. We're going to get back to it in a moment. But uh, what else is new, gang? I've got nothing to say because I don't have a proper guest. I've got Tangela. And she says nothing. How did she come up with this outfit? You know, I told her we're doing a UFO film. And she did this on her own. She gets creative on her own. I, I don't. It's, the nice part about it is I don't have to manage this. Is she a Martian cheerleader? No, I, I think she's, uh, you know, that could be it. Yes, a Martian cheerleader. 
right? And she's not cheering for you tonight. No, she's not. All right. We say we get back to this film. Good idea. All right. Here we go. Back to Invaders from Mars. And when we return after the break, we've got some mail to do from you. We'll see you then. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Oh, Mr. Livingston, what kind of mail do we have today? Oh, she speaks now. Oh, Mr. Livingston, please show us the mail. Right, I, I cannot read that. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, give it to him then. Welcome back to the show. We're going to do some mail because uh, people sent us all kinds of mail, right? What's this? A letter. A letter. Two creature features in Bodega Bay. This is from K.R. Pope. Is this an actual Pope? Like the Pope? It's a name. No, the Pope does not live in Canada. So, B.C. British Columbia. Anyways, let's find out what this is. All right. K.R. Pope says, Dear Sirs, so this is not for you to cover your ears. This is Dear Sirs. Uh, my name is Kia Pope. I live in a 100 mile house, BC. Is that such a place? 100 mile I house? believe so. They have oh. a lot of places in Canada like that. With names like this, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm writing to let you know I'm interested in a bookmark or poster or a kerchief. Is that an alien spacecraft? I doubt it. It sounds like an alien spacecraft. They've been buzzing us today because they know we're running this film. All right. I'm interested in a bookmark or a poster or a kerchief. If you could help me with that, I really appreciate it. Do we have kerchiefs? I don't didn't know anybody. Oh, no, it's a keychain. Keychain. A keychain. Kerchief. Well, you know, a kerchief would be nice as well with a logo. No, a keychain. Bookmark or poster, a keychain. You know, I think on our, uh, on our store, creaturestore.com, creature we'll put the thing down here. Uh, we have everything you can imagine. It's, it's, it's rather quite a spectacle. But uh, thank you for, for writing and 100 mile, 100 mile house. I wonder how they came up with a bloody name like this. Wonderful name. I like it. It used to be 100 miles from anywhere, perhaps. That's right. Now we live in Bodega Bay. This one is addressed to you. What do you mean to me? Well, if you look at the card inside. The card inside says, to Vince. Well, you know, it's typical that they, because I'm the one that gave them the address, right? So they address it to me. But it's typically to all of us. Oh, but I like the card. It's an actual piece of cardstock. All right, what do we got? Uh, two Vince from all goblins, ghouls, vampires, werewolves, witches, ghosts, bats, spiders, skeletons, black cats, mummies, and Roger. I think it's actually from Roger. Happy Halloween. Well, happy Halloween to you too, Roger. Sorry we're a bit late looking at this. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm glad this is mine and not yours. Creature. Look at this. It's an actual creature. I like this. It looks like he painted himself, and it's got the hand that moves. I think we're going to have to glue this back together. Can you take that, love? Grab the hand so mm. it does not fall off. Very nice. Oh, it's, he comes with the guitar. So this needs to be glued ah. on with the guitar. How wonderful. Thank you so much, Roger, and we hope things are good in... Where is he from? Vallejo. Oh, he's, he's almost a neighbor. Vallejo oh. is close to us. You know what I miss about uh, Vallejo? 
What? Pirate festival. This is true. Remember, we used to go to the pirate festival. Now he he. You would make me. Go I would to the drag pirate him festival. to the pirate festival. I'd make him dress as a pirate as well, because you cannot go to the pirate festival unless you're dressed like a pirate, right? And then you would drink rum. Yes, I drink rum. I like rum, but no, that's the only way you could sing the song. Yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. And I bet Roger goes as a pirate as well, because he lives uh -huh. right there, right? Good, good to hear from you, Roger. Here's another packet. Oh, uh, this is from Australia. I saw this one come in. You know, they wrote everything. They had to do a decla declaration. Declaration. Right. They had to declare everything. So we kind of know what's inside this, but let's find Oh, this is nice. You know, we, we love our Australian viewers because I believe that there's nothing like this show in Australia. I and think that, you might be right. No, it's no. And if, if we went, we could be like the new Sonny and Cher. Right. I'm be like, confused. No, we yeah. could have an Australian variety show, and they could make fun of the way I speak English. Funny and fair. Yeah, and you would be like one of the walk-on characters. All right, dear creature features. My name is Lisa. I live on the Gold Coast, Clear Island Waters, Queensland. Queensland. I like to watch creature features and all horror and sci-fi, ghost horror as well. I'm sending you uh, a gift from me and my son... I can't read his name. I think it's Tim. Uh, and uh, thank you, Lisa, sending you also much sent money. Oh, I hope it's Australian money. Uh, Queensland goes Gold Coast. Let's see. And here it says, uh, oh, she's making a movie request. Children of the Corn. I'd love to show that film. We're working on it. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, 1982, maybe one day. We'll see. Uh, and Creep Show 1982. We will be showing on Friday Creep Show 2, I think, or 3. Creep Show. One of the Creep Shows will be showing on our Friday night show. So make sure you catch that, I think, like next month or something. Uh, Reanimator. We had, uh, what was her name? The last that was in uh, Reanimator. She, Barbara, Barbara something. She was on the show once as a guest. And then The Shining, 1980. I will probably never be able to show that one. But everyone's that seen it, difficult. right? Everyone has seen it. Everyone has seen The <laughs> Shining. All right, what do we got? Gifts. This is wonderful. All right. It's a little bear. Look at this. A koala bear. A koala. That must be yours. All right. And this is, oh, a tea towel. Right? We know who this is going to. Tea it's an towel. Australian tea towel designed in Australia. Oh. That's probably for you. Polka dot. Oh, and there's these two separate envelopes. This says, from Miss Lisa Marie. All right. Oh, there is money in there. Oh, there is money. Look at this. This is strange money. How wonderful. All right. This is, oh it's my goodness. Through. Oh, this has got all kinds of stuff. I think this is all stuff for Tangella. Hmm. Let's let Tangella open that one. And this one, it's like Christmas here. You know, this happens sometimes. All viewers are the most generous. They are indeed. People in the world, I think. You know, because they, they send us money. You know they why send they us want to gifts. give their money away. Somebody once sent us a dead cat. No, a petrified cat. A petrified. It was a mummified cat. It had been dead for like 20 years. Oh, this is wonderful. I, you know, I think they, if we came to Australia with all these items, they would let us in. They would indeed. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. Here's some more things. I think the artist would not be pleased. The artist would not be pleased? The oh, artist yeah. is dead, and that's it. Thank you so much, Lisa Marie. This is wonderful. Uh, send our love to you and your family. Oh, this one I need. It. What else you got, Mr. Livingston? Pen. Oh, I like that. Don't eat that one. You want to save that one. There we are. Last one? Last one. This is uh, from Sparky Sparks. We've heard from Sparky Sparks before. We have. Yeah, you know, I remember because his name, his last name is almost the same as his first name, but it's only slightly different. All right, jewelry of quality. Now, this is going to be good. Did you expect this? If, it's this not dangerous. Can, uh, no, no, I don't expect it to be dangerous. I just hope the bloke didn't send his inheritance to us. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I know who this is for. Look at this. Look, this is gorgeous. All right, let's see what Sparky Ooh, Spark has to spider. say. Dear Vincent Tangelo, Mr. Livingston, my name is Sparky. I live in a very small town in Oklahoma. When I was a kid, we had a show called Dr. Digby's Shock Theater. I spent many happy Saturdays watching in the 70s. 
I bet he's not around anymore, the way he speaks in the past tense. Mm. I was absolutely delighted to find your show recently on YouTube. I'm 57 now, but still a big old kid at heart. So thank you guys for all you do. You have bought the, brought the giggles back to an old lady. Please find a special gift from Miss Tangella in clothes. Those, very nice. Oh, it's a spider. Mm -hmm. It's a ruby silver spider. Spider That's earrings, cool. it would appear. I like it. I'm a retired jeweler, and I made them custom for her. My goodness. Wow, that's nice one of a indeed. kind, just like Tangella. Unique. And just like Sparky. There is not another pair like them. They are one of a kind, just like her. Happy Halloween. And uh, they are made from sterling silver and feature blue opals. Mm. Yeah, I better not find those at the bottom of your toy box. No, those are those. You must wear those to special occasions. Why would you be going through her toy box? Because I look for the things like this that she, like, discards oh. you should be doing it as well that's a thought no i once found 50 quid no. at the bottom of a toy box yes all right well thank you so much sparky and we hope things are well in uh, where'd she say she was australia no 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 no, no. she's close by she's in thomas oklahoma that sounds like a nice place I bet, I bet there was once a thomas who was there. is that it mr livingston that's it that is it for mail if you'd like to send us an email, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd like to send a wonderful pair of homemade earrings to Tangella, use the address you see right here. We'll be back after the break, but first let's get back to Invaders from Mars. Despite my previous protestation, I see a few of you have still not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. Please, I implore of you to do so. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why but you both were so surprised. You should have seen them both. They were shocked at this teacher eating the, the frog. I, I had two teachers when I was a child who ate the frogs. No. That's why they soak them in alcohol is so that they're clean before they eat them. That's formaldehyde. Yeah. Well, it's Poisonous. an alcohol-based chemical, is it not? Dangerous. Is it flammable? I don't know. All right, who knows? Anyways, welcome back to the show. We are watching Invaders from Mars. It's, you know, I like this film. Why? Because it's, 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 it's happier than the typical slop we serve. Happier? No, no, no. It's always got a, this like, nice melody. The child's on the bike. It's like, dee, 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 dee. It's, it's like it wants to be a Steven Spielberg film. It wants to be a Steven Spielberg summer blockbuster. Oh. I mean, it doesn't succeed, but it, it's close. Right? No. No. Well, we could not afford a Steven Spielberg summer blockbuster. I don't think anybody could. No. Well, sure. Uh, like Netflix can. If if we own Netflix, we could show them all day long. True. Right. Right. But Anyways, we don't. Well, you know, yeah. one day, one day in the future, not too far in the future, we shall show Poltergeist. And, Wishful and not the, thinking. No, not the rubbish after poltergeist the original poltergeist that's what i want to show hmm. right and you'll see throughout the film it's got that happy music as does et which is another pro another film we will one day show i predict this i'm like psychic in these these manner of things psycho psycho no she's the psycho huh. anyways how you doing tangela you have not said a word tonight does she ever is she mad yes in the traditional sense, not the American sense. In the traditional sense. Right, right, right. You know, I'm going to bring Andrew out. And you, 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 off you go. Go, go, go get Andrew. We, we need Andrew here because 
you're not talking to me and I have no guests and he's just he's just parodying what I'm saying anyways let's get back to the film and uh, when we come back we will have Andrew after the break see you soon eating frogs Mary DeLeon from Chicago, Illinois. Don't stop playing the show because I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you guys. Keep it going. Bye. Boo. Andrew, you look like an Oompa Loompa. Thanks. I, I take it uh, you placed a wager with uh, Miss Tangella that you did not succeed in winning. Yes. Somebody forgot to uh, inform me about... Somebody well, you know, at least she, she put you in the theme of the show. When she did it to him, it had nothing to do with the show. At least this way you sort of look like an alien, right? Yes, it he does. Puts you in the spirit of the entire thing, right? Maybe, no. And I did warn you to be careful around her. You didn't You're say anything about that, the though. betting, though. But you keep teasing her. I do not. No, well, you're always saying be careful. You have to be more specific. Hmm. You know, do not, do not bet or do not fall for her tricks. She has tricks, she does. Anyways, welcome back to the show. We are watching Invaders from Mars, if you're just joining us. And uh, if you are just joining us, you, they've missed quite a bit of the movie. Like, we, we finally seen the aliens. And, you know, that's what actual aliens look like. No, I've actual seen aliens? the real aliens look like this film. They use, no, they used diagrams created by people who have been abducted on UFOs. I see. No, it's, it, this is all professionally done. Toby Hooper would not just randomly design some creature and call it an alien. He, it's a film. No, he did research on the internet. There was no internet back then. Of course there was no internet back then. We just didn't know about it. Only the government had it and Toby Hooper. Hmm. I know these things. Anyways, a uh, fun film. Uh, we hope you are enjoying it at home. And uh, Andrew, what, you've been watching the film. What do you think? I like this one. You too. You know, he likes 80s movies. He, he was an 80s kid, right? He likes I, I 80s like... everything. No, but he was an 80s kid. I was an 80s kid. He's an A's kid. Like, what's that, what's that kung fu thing you always watch? Kung fu? No, there's a kung fu thing you always watch on HBO. What's that silly program called? called? Cobra Kai. Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. It's karate. What's well, kung fu? It's no, a difference. Karate. karate. What's Japanese. What's the bloody difference? Kung fu is Chinese. You swing your hands and say hi -ya, and you cause pain, and you walk across the West... Fighting Cowboys. No, it's a nice way to go. Anyways, uh, he, he likes 80s films. Anytime we show an 80s film, regardless of the, what kind of garbage it is, he, no, he likes it. He likes the 80s movies. So, oh, we knew this would make him happy, even though he had to wear a leprechaun hat and green hair and antennae. And he has work to do around the house. No, you've got work to do around the house. I'm going to kick you out soon. Thank goodness. No, he does not like doing this program, so I have to give him breaks. He cannot stay during the whole thing. But it's not my fault our guest died, all right? So if, if the guest had not died, then he'd be sitting in the chair, and you, you two blokes would be off doing something else, if something productive. If you hadn't productive. invited him, he would have been all right. Well, I, I cannot predict the death of somebody on their way to do our show. It's, it's, I, I've got no control over anything like this. Okay, go get us some popcorn. Oh, popcorn. No, it's not a bad idea. Popcorn. All right, do we have any business to take care of? Patreon, if people want to. Uh, Patreon. Patreon. If, if you want to support the show, I don't know why you'd want to do this, especially with his glum face. 
Uh, you could go to our Patreon page and uh, you can you can like sign up and, and do nice. I appreciate it. Tanchella appreciates it. I think Andrew appreciates it. And Mrs. Magoo here appreciates this as well. So there's that. And then also, if you're watching on YouTube, you have to subscribe. You yes. know why? No, no, no. I understand that if they don't subscribe, they are not informed of other movies that we show. This is true. Right. So if you don't like tonight's movie and you don't subscribe, you won't be notified on the next movie that we notify on. Is that how it works? I believe so. All right. All right. But what if... Well, they have to hit the bell for notifications as well. Well, of course they have to hit the bloody bell. What else are they going to do? No, but what I'm thinking is if they subscribe and we serve a bad movie, will they be angry for subscribing? No. It could happen. No, They've I can... learned to expect the worst from us. Oh, is that it? All right. That makes sense. All right, what do you say we get back to the film? Yes. Please. All right, off we go. Back to Invaders from Mars. And when we return, we'll have Andrew here and uh, maybe Tangella and a hula hoop. We'll see. See you soon. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Preparing for Christmas, I see. Carry on. I imagine you are becoming almost as tired of seeing me as I am of making these messages. Please subscribe. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features, and uh, I've got Leprechaun Andrew with me, and Hula Hoop Tangela back here, and Livingston stepped off to do something, and why did she stick this on my lap? Oh, I think she wanted the full camera space, so I'm, I'm holding a statue. Anyway, so we're watching Invaders from Mars, 1986, wonderful film, and uh, I, I, I like this movie. Yeah, it's it's not a bad film. It's it was not a big success at the box office, but uh, you know it plays well, forty years later, right? Mm -hmm. Ish, years later. So tell me, Andrew, if there was like a giant UFO that landed behind the berm behind the mansion, and I sent you to go investigate, what would you do? Nothing. I would end up sending Livingston instead. I'd tell him there's a they're filming an episode of. Uh, Antique Road Show. Oh, he loves that program. Yeah. Yeah, now he would go running. But then I'd just watch him, you know, walk in the sand with binoculars and go. Right. No, and then he would become an alien because of the implant. Mm. 
Yeah, it yeah. might be more lively that way. I was going. I was going to say, you know, I don't think there'd be much of a difference, right? Mm. You couldn't get any any crankier. No, 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 no. So I think it'd be uh, it'd be the same. So, anyways. So. All right. What do you say we uh, we end this uh, film, eh? Sounds good. All right. Off we go to the end of Invaders from Mars. Don't go away when the credits go because it doesn't mean that we're gone. It means that we're coming after the credits. So, right? People always leave during the credits. Why? I I always sat in the theater while those credits. All right. Anyways, see you on the other side of the break. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. And so ends Invaders from Mars. You know, this whole thing with the dream at the end. I don't like it when films do this. It's ridiculous. Well, they keep you it? guessing. Now, well, somebody could take this film and chop the very beginning off and attach it to the end, and it could play as a loop forever. Right? He sees the alien craft, we get the whole movie, and then he wakes up from a dream and he sees the alien craft and the thing loops. and It's like Groundhog Day. And she did not like the film Groundhog Day. Because, no, they were mean to the Groundhog. That's why she. Didn't I'm not like sure it. I've ever seen that. No, it's a good film. You should watch it. It's a good. I I like it, but she doesn't like it. It's got that uh, bloke from Saturday Night Live. Is it Chevy Chase? Uh, Dan Aykroyd. One of those. One of those people from Bill Saturday. Murray. Bill Murray. All right, Bill Murray. Bill Murray's in it. And then who's the f who's the girl with the face? Gina Gina Davis. Andy, no, you're right. Andy McDowell. He's, 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 uh, Andrew is good with the 80s movies. What about you? Did you like this film? Tonight's film? You did? No, she, she liked dressing up like an alien tonight. Now, she's an alien cheerleader, we've determined. He's determined. So, uh, what's, uh, what's next for you, Mr. Livingston? Well, once we're done here, I'll go back to supervising the staff. Well, you know, her and I were chatting, and we think you should join us on one of the Friday night shows because we've got all these wonderful movies we've been showing. It's the only time I have free. Right, but I mean, you could join us for like one night just as like as a surprise bonus night, right? No. Well, that settles that then. All right, what do you got going on next, Miss Tangella? Oh. You have no room for those types of animals. She wants a cougar. Oh, dear. No, she's they're an endangered species, and they're not allowed I don't think they're pets. endangered, but it, no, no, she's, well, she's just going to trap one. They're protected. Oh, well, not protected around her, no. Well, she would take good care of it, though, right? Oh, I'm sure she would. No, she, would she would feed it all those fancy steaks he purchased at that fancy meat store you go to. That's what she would do, I know. Anyways, enough about us. You folks have a wonderful week, and uh, what else can we say about it? Thank you for joining us. You're wonderful. Don't forget to join us on Friday nights as well, because her and I show some good movies. He refuses to come because he's a curmudgeon, and he does not like these films. That's all right. Her and I like these films, and, and we have fun, right? But Friday despite night. that, thank you for the trinkets. Oh, and the trinkets. Yes, he likes the trinkets. In any case, uh, thank you for watching our show. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And don't forget, we love you. So, uh, Mr. Livingston, you know, I'm thinking if, 
alien life forms were to invade Bodega Bay, what do you think would happen? I don't think that they would after that bird incident. 